What's up folks and welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of came across some inappropriate kids books and I kind of went through one but it's not obviously it's not here and I thought of doing a video on it like I myself reacting to the inappropriate kids books. So I mean I'm not sure but I can I don't actually remember the names of these. So to be fair this is the first time that I'm going to be listening to these books I mean it's read uh from some guy I don't remember the name it's a video so I'm going to listen to the book and let's see how inappropriate it is let's go let's go let's go let's go <coughs> okay these big nuts These big nuts. I mean, the title itself is inappropriate. Let's see how the book goes. Story time with Tom Foolery presents D's big nuts. D was a squirrel who had big nuts. Okay. His nut sack was so <laughs> big. Okay. That it would drag on the ground everywhere he went. <laughs> D had a friend named Sarah who loved nuts. Oh my god. Sarah would go around the town trying to put everyone's nuts in her Sarah, mouth. You a hoe. Sarah loved how big D's nuts oh were. God. His nuts were her favorite. <laughs> they were the biggest nuts she had ever seen. She would play with his nuts all day. And sometimes, oh. even at night, sometimes her mum would join. What the they would take turns holding Dee's nuts at night. Sometimes Sarah would even try to put both of his nuts in her mouth at once. Oh. She experience. would giggle. Her face would turn red. Oh my and God. then his nuts would come <laughs> flying out. One day... <coughs> This is too much. Work. Oh God! Oh. oh wow! Let's go. Let's go. Someone ran up to his nuts and started poking no. them. Hey, jerk! Off my nuts! <laughs> he said. Let me breathe. Let me breathe for a while. Oof. Oof. Let's go. <coughs> Although Sarah loved Dee's nuts, she would sometimes kick them. She once kicked them so hard, she busted a nut. <laughs> Dee was very sad that Sarah busted his nut. He just wanted Sarah to play oh, nice with his nuts. One day, when his nuts were feeling better, she took them to lunch, okay. where she got peanut butter all over them. His nuts were so sticky. After that day, she knew she would need to play nice, because all good squirrels know how to play nice with big nuts. The end. Okay, it's not the end. Okay. Finger these links the for more story time with Tom Foolery. Maybe subscribe to his channel or drop a oh. like on this video if you're so inclined. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I'm I'm gonna need a moment to get myself back together after that show. Wow, okay, let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. Storytime with Tom Foolery presents Do you want to play with my <laughs> balls? Hey, Louie, do you want to play with my balls? Oh, well, yeah, you okay. Sure, Chuck. <laughs> I can hold your ball sack so it won't drag on the ground. Wow, your oh. balls are so big, I can't even fit them in my mouth. What the hell? My mum's oh. always yelling, Louie, 
Get those balls out of your mouth before you choke. You know that mean oh. girl, Sally? She squeezed my balls so hard, <laughs> they looked funny. Yeah, well, when I play with Sally, oh. I always end up with blue balls. Billy Johnson made Sally cry last oh. week. Now that kid's got balls. Not anymore. Yesterday, oh. Sally kicked Billy's balls so hard, he lost one. Look, Louie. Your dog is licking my balls. Let's roll them on Sparky's fur. Girls hate hairy balls. Oh my god. No, I can't do this. Oh, I'm literally crying, man. Oh god. Oh wow. Ooh. Girls hate hairy balls. Yo. <coughs> oh my god. I'm laughing too hard. Got my phlegm going on, man. Yo, shit. Balls. You know, Chuck, if we show Sally our hairy balls, she'll scream for sure. Obviously. Yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like Sally. I wish she would just play nice with my balls. Yeah, me too. Sus. Hi, Sally. Do you want to play with our balls? Sure, but only if I can play with both of your balls at the same time. <laughs> Finger these links for more story time with Tom <laughs> Foolery. Perhaps you could subscribe to his channel oh my or God. press like if you oh feel the urge. I'm not gonna add any comments right now. I'm gonna wait till the end. I just got one more book, I guess, to go through. Whew. If this was a try not to laugh challenge, and if I was to punish myself each time I laugh, I'd have been dead by now. It's a hundred percent guarantee I would have been dead by now. <laughs> wow. I just need a moment to breathe, man. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Last, last book. Let's go. Brenda's beam <laughs> needs a pop. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, 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 let's not be judgmental. Let's check out the book first. Okay, let's check the book first. Reach Around Books presents Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. Brenda has a beaver and she's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. Brenda's beaver's big. Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who's seen it says that Brenda's <laughs> beaver's scary. Brenda took her beaver. For a swim down at the lake. By the looks that she received, she figured that was a mistake. Uh. She stuffed that furry mound into a swimming suit. It stuck out all around. <laughs> it was anything but cute. Some who saw it laughed, others were just stunned. Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. Her friends could not believe her. They said, We need to talk. They covered up her beaver and they took her for a walk. Brenda, dear, listen here. We want to help you out. Your beaver needs a makeover. It really needs it now. I hope we don't seem pushy, said her biker friend named Kim. Your beaver is too bushy. We just think it needs a trim. Savannah pulled her beaver back to show off what she'd done. Hers have a nice long landing patch. It looks like it'd be fun. Chrissy's beaver is quite rare. It could be worth a million. Hers is bare. It has no hair. Her beaver is Brazilian. Kath 
Catherine let her beaver loose. She said there's nothing to it. Grab some clippers and a can of mousse. We'll show you how to do it. Kim produced some scissors and Chrissy had some wax. Now all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. Oh As God. they came towards her beaver, they oh. said, Now don't be scared. We're going to see what's underneath that <laughs> pile of hair. It ended in just minutes. They didn't leave her much. When Brenda's friends were finished, she and her beaver blushed. Her beaver was so tiny, they could not believe their eyes. It was smooth and it was shiny. It was hard to recognize. Now Brenda is so proud. It seems like every time we see her, no. she's in the center of a crowd, just showing <laughs> off her beaver. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I'm literally crying, yo! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Let me have a moment to collect myself, to come back to normal. I mean, whoa. I would have definitely killed myself if this was a try not to laugh challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> I even cut my cheeks are hurting after laughing, man. Oh god. Yo. <laughs> I mean, no wonder kids say the most inappropriate things. I mean, they got damn inappropriate books read to them. <clears throat> I mean, these big nuts, Brenda's beaver needs a bob. And do you want to play with my balls? Oh, I mean, oh god. I'm glad that I, that I came across these, man. It's, it's super funny, yo. Wow. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did just listen to those damn books and i'll add the links of these down in the description as well so you guys could go check it out for yourself and uh, ooh, make sure to like and if you like the video if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see me reacting to more inappropriate kids books uh, add a comment down below as well and make sure to share this among your friends who will enjoy this and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet go ahead subscribe it's free you're not gonna get charged for subscribing to a channel help a boy out <laughs> and yeah i'll see you guys soon stay safe stay healthy peace